happy, cheery good morning. That was a happy, cheery good morning. No. I don't scream like you. But even that's, you can, you don't have to scream to say I have a cheery good morning. You can say, good morning. I did a good morning. That was pretty good. Good morning. See? It was happy. It was cheery. It was full of emotion. If you say so. I'm going to talk how you talk and then you tell me if I sound cheery. Sounds fine to me. This sounds cheery to you. Yeah. Okay, because everybody. I'm having a cheerful I, day. I do not talk in a monotone. I have a cheerful day. I do not talk in a monotone. <laughs> My house is a disaster. Well, you shouldn't have made such a mess last yesterday. Look at the mess you made. Well, I need more bubble wrap and I need, more, <laughs> uh, I need another box. Maybe not such a big box because it's going to be heavier. Mm. Mm. Uh, and you need to clear a spot in the garage so we can move the bar. Well, I'm going to uh, pull the carpet off the stairs today. And if I run out of time, if I have any time left, I'll do that. Yeah. And you're going to have to make it so you can get to your tools because you're going to need your saws and stuff to make the fireplace. Yes, dear. It was never gone. You don't say it as much as you used to. <laughs> I think we need to work on that. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Yes, dear. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> you can say it from now on. No, dear. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go strip the carpet off the stairs. Okay, I'll do it. You want to see me do it? Yeah, sure. All right, let's go. <laughs> Remember, my resolution was not to get hurt I in know, 2017. I know. But you just want to get hurt, don't you? No, I want to be productive so and wanna, I want to not get you wanna, hurt. You want to grab the, t uh, the carpet at the top of the stairs and just jump down. That's what you want to do, isn't it? Well, isn't that how you do it? <laughs> <laughs> just grab and go, Ooh. I'm coming! Woo! Stick you in a b box and you can toboggan down. Oh, there's the to Yeah! How's that? Yeah! We don't even need a toboggan. We could just use a lid to one of the garbage cans. Of course. Yeah! <laughs> so this is our new opening, our new introduction. I hope you guys liked it. It was, um, can't... Those of you who don't even notice, we kept the same music because we like it. Yes. The music and, is very much us. And I like... But we changed all the video and the, the, and the still shots. I like being able to have the still shots. I want to be able to change it up every three months. Oh my goodness, she's going to make me do that. Yes. and I'm going to teach you how to edit and then you can put together your own intros. It doesn't take you long to p change that up. And what I would like to do is to include you guys in our intro. So it's going to be changed up every three months, and you guys can submit pictures to be part of the intro. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. You're going to cut this out, aren't you? <laughs> I'm going to try. No, I want you to leave it in because I want to be able to stop doing that. <laughs> what? Oh, I wish I had. I need, if anybody out there would like to contribute something to the channel, I need a whip. Just like a nine of cattails or something that I could just him with when he does that. Yeah, I do. But I'd like to include the, the community in our intro. And that's the only way to be able to do it. Okay. And have them submit <coughs> pictures. Of course, they got to be family-friendly pictures. And we reserve the right to choose the pictures that we want to use. But 
we would like for people to start submitting pictures and but it's only going to be changed once every three months okay so this is my next project that I can do without having to uh, spend any money focus 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 and that's uh, pulling the carpet off of these stairs and uh, I've already started a while ago this is just the first step and it's got tap strip as well as staples and all kinds of things that need to come out and you can see there was a million staples put into this and uh, hopefully it won't leave too much damage okay so here are the tools that I have for this I had to raid my upholstery kit I got some uh, uh, staple pulls and tack pulls this one's mostly for staples this one's mostly for tacks so there's just a, a little difference between the two um, we've got uh, a blade to cut of course and some uh, diagonal cutters for to pull out stubborn nails and tacks and uh, you have those pliers for the same thing so here we go Luckily, they didn't use any uh, um, glue on here. And these threads seem to be in pretty good shape. Okay, so we've run into a problem. Um, a couple of things I first started noticing that the uh, intersection of uh, the uh, tread and the riser is not a tight one. So whoever did it was not thinking of this being finished. However, it looks like it was finished at one time. And it looked like it was done by somebody, not professionally. You know, one coat of poly is not very well done. However, it doesn't look like these treads were ever designed to uh, be finished. Because we have just wood inserts. Oh, I see. On the sides, nothing matches. We have just these wood inserts with all this bare space that would have been covered by carpet. And the edge of the, uh, um, of the tread is not finished. It's just squared off. If this was a house that we were just going to stay in, I would do whatever I want to do. I would pull these treads up and replace them. I would even build this wall out. So uh, I have storage under there that's not open. Um, so now uh, I need to decide whether we should just uh, hire someone to carpet. just the upstairs and the stairs and yeah. still go with the hardwood down here. What I wanted to do, of course, was to replace this banister because it's missing a... Yeah, it needs to be replaced anyway. Well, I could replace just the... But it's an ugly banister. We'd paint it white. I mean, at this point, we're, I'm looking to make it nice to sell. I had, I had all kinds of ideas for this place, but... Um, never had the time to actually implement them so I think we need to uh, get a shout out to our real estate agent and see what she has to say is you know because we're on a deadline too carpet people could do this in a day yeah and and, and then the then the painting either I could do it or we could hire someone to do it in a day and the banister we have to make a decision and I think we need our real estate agent to help us with that decision along with this drop ceiling that you don't think I should touch, but I think is hor horrific. It may be horrific, but it, it, I don't think it's going to be a selling 
point or non-selling point of the house. Well, everybody, it's come to the end of another day and another video. Nah. 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 What are you, a sheep? Nah. Anyway. Um, kind of a bummer. Yeah. Stairs didn't come out the way I wanted them to. Might change the whole idea of what we have to do, but we'll see. It was so. just going to take mostly sweat equity, but now it looks like we're going to have to put in carpet. Yeah. So. The realtor's coming over on Friday to go over some stuff with us, and we'll take it from there. See what happens. But anyway... We hope you liked a little bit of something that you saw in the video today, which was mostly you, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, mostly you. Tripping up and down the stairs. I'm waking you up to uh, show you what I did. You tripping, huh? Tripping. Kevin was tripping today, guys. Anyway, we hope you liked a little bit of something that you saw in our video today. If you did, please do not forget to give us a like, a share, a comment, and we shall see you all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now. Bye. Bye.